Hi, it's Bridget. I'm actually in my kitchen right now. I just started to make some lunch and I've done other videos like this before and I thought I needed to capture this on video because as I was running my errands this morning, getting the dog to the groomer and such, um, I had this feeling of the Bee Gees. Like there wasn't a song on the radio. There wasn't any of that. Popped off my microphone. There wasn't any of that. And yet I felt, I felt like, should I channel them? And I don't really know that much. So you guys, I was born like in the 70s, but I, and I've heard BG songs, but I do not know about the group. Like, I don't know. I know it's a family thing. I know there, some of them are dead. Uh, that's kind of what I know. So I'm going to talk out loud with you while I'm getting my lunch ready. I'm not actually going to officially channel them right now, but I'm going to talk to you about as a psychic, how I start to get information from these potential guests that I channel at above life channel. All right. <clears throat> so, and, um, it is a spring break week here at my house. So you're going to hear other noises around that you would normally would not normally hear during my videos um, because it's not just me and the doggies it's actually me and my husband has been sick for several days with a bad cough he's working in the office next door and my son who's on the computer right now also has that cough thing so you're going to hear that and that's just the way it is so all right so i'm going to make some salad stuff for myself <clears throat> try to get a healthy lunch in and so what was happening, so I'm feeling into the energy of them. So what I did was I went on to YouTube and I listened to a song, a Bee Gees song. And then, and I was watching, I actually watched the video of it and I was watching and there were three brothers and it was, um, how deep is your love or what? I'm not sure the name of the song, but it's that one. And it's kind of like a ballad, you know, and I was listening to that and watching the video and I kept seeing this one person, the faces of this one person, I kept going, him, him, him. And so I was talking out loud with my husband a little bit. I said, okay, so I don't know the Bee Gees and my husband's uh, a bit older than I am. <laughs> so he kind of knows that stuff. So I said, okay, so who am I? I'm, here's what I'm feeling. Here's my initial feelings. Again, I'm not talking to them. I'm not channeling them right now, but here's my initial feelings. First, I'm thinking it's going to be hard to like separate them in the afterlife and talk to them individually. But at the same time, it's really hard for me to talk to them as a group and not know who they are individually because it gets confusing. Like I, I am already not that great with details. I don't need any more over detail stuff that I can't keep track of, you know? So I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to channel them. We'll have to see how this goes. But so here's my initial feeling. I feel like right away, I know Andy, I know the name Andy Gibb. And I think it's from back in the day in like solid gold. I'm gonna totally date myself. It was this TV show, you guys, you know? And I know that I saw him sing on there once and that he was kind of a heartthrob, but not really for me personally, but that he was kind of a heartthrob guy. And he feels like the most popular. I'm gonna say that right away energetically, he feels like the most popular. Um, not just because I know who he is, but because he just, his, his light feels really big in the heart space, but it feels really, there's sad, there's a lot of sadness and he feels really young. And so I know he, and I know he's in on the other side. I know he's crossed over. And then this, but this image, this, um, these three men, as I'm watching them sing, I'm like, the one that felt the biggest, like had the most strength and like, like the tallest, biggest one um, is Barry. And when I looked at him, like, I didn't even know you guys, if he, if he was alive or dead. And I know some of you, I'm sure some people are going to go, how do you not know? Are you under a rock? Yeah. I'm doing a thing called living my own life. Thanks. You know, I don't like pay attention to all that stuff. And I don't have time to Google research all this before I, I'm not gonna spoon feed people information that you can find yourself. And if you're a fan, you know, you totally know, you know? So, yeah. All right, 
So it's just a little uh, there on that one. But anyway, so he feels really like big and strong. And I didn't even know if he was alive or dead. I had to ask my husband. I had to say, why is he feels like the leader? And I don't know if he's actually the oldest, but he feels like the leader, this big, strong energy. And I said, is he alive or dead? And my husband said, no, he's alive. And I'm like, okay, well, he feels like he has a heart thing going on. Like, I don't know if it's a heart condition or if there's a family thing with the heart or if he's had a heart attack, but there's a heart something going on. And there's something with his guts. And um, I'm not good with details. I'm not good with biology. Uh, one of the organs, I don't know if it's pancreas, liver. I'm not sure, but one of the organs, there's something wrong, not right. So he doesn't feel like he's in the great health, just so you guys know. And I'm sure you probably know that if, if you're a fan. <laughs> All right, so that's what I know. That's the stuff that's coming forward. And I'm not really sure. So I asked my husband, I'm like, who is who is this guy? I showed him the picture of the three men as they were singing. And this one's Barry. We said, okay, this one's Barry. He said, this one I think is Maurice. And he said, this one, I don't know if it's Robin, Robin or Andy. And I'm like, it was Robin that I zoomed in on. I'm like, I could feel him. And he kind of felt like how, okay, so the easiest one to channel would be, um, the easiest one to channel would be Andy, I think because he's just got the biggest energy. He was like, to me, he feels like he had the most notoriety and the most popularity. And maybe it's because he had a short career and you know, that kind of thing. I don't know, I'm not sure. Again, I'm not channeling him, so I don't know the duration of the career. I, I don't know the details right now in this video. But I am really drawn to this this one that's this, this younger one. Like his face, I don't wanna say younger one, but he seems more like, somebody that would be maybe more behind the scenes or not necessarily want or need to be like right in the center of attention. Um, I'm gonna, we'll say it's Robin. It feels right. Although I, there's a different name for him. Like I wanna call him Rob, um, something different. Not just Robin, but Rob maybe, Rob or something or Ro or something different. And I like his energy. I'm drawn to his energy, but there's something about his energy that feels, um, kind of how Andy was like shy, but yet in this public persona and wasn't sure how to handle it a little bit, a little bit overwhelmed and very good looking Andy. But Maurice doesn't feel like he had like the big looks like that and not a big like persona or personality, but he feels very creative. Like I could see him writing songs and I could see him with the musical arrangements and I could see him just really seeing patterns and seeing things and putting things together for the group, for the band and stuff that other people, it wouldn't have been the same without him is how it feels. And I understand that he's dead because my husband told me, because I asked him, I said, no, he's definitely on the other side because I can feel him, but he's not chatty. He's not super chatty. Like, hi, me, 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 me. He's not like that. And my husband's like, yeah, he's on the, you know, he's on the other side. And I'm like, well, and he says, well, what do you think he died of? And I'm like, cancer. And he says, yeah out of cancer. I'm like, okay, because right away, cancer, see. Um, but it feels like he's an internal thinker, very retrospective, um, very creative. That's what he feels like to me. And um, maybe like the one that not everybody knew very well or something like that, like he's not fully seen or really um, known or understood. And I don't know, known. And I don't know if it's because he was so into like the music part of it, the actual like the technical parts of things and how things fit together and how, you know, that or this that his brothers had such big personalities because Barry clearly feels like a big, like the leader. And then Maurice's energy, I can't really, I not really tapped into him a lot. Like he just feels kind of mellow and, um, but he does feel like he has a temper. Like I feel like he, um, I'm hot and I'm cold, I'm hot and I'm cold. Like sometimes can be really like, ah, da, 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 and then other times be like, oh, oh man, man, I can't deal with this. I'm not dealing with this. I'm done, I'm done. Like get really pissed off easy kind of. It's how it feels like I'm done, I'm done with this man. I'm done with this kind of thing. And I, when I see him crossing over to the other side, I see a ramp instead of like stairs. And that's interesting to me because it's metaphoric. And so I kind of feel like whatever created or caused the circumstances for his death was a gradual thing and like was uh, like not obvious, but 
not surprising kind of thing. Well, maybe it was obvious. It might have been obvious. It's kind of this gradual, okay, I'm going over there. So I don't know if he had a long-term illness or what his exact situation was, but there's a ramp instead of a stairway. So that to me, that's different, okay? Because a ramp would be a gradual progression into the afterlife for transition. All right, so... Um, and I asked to, I asked my husband, I said, did somebody recently die with their family? Because I feel like there was a transition that just happened or there's one that's coming up. Now, I do not make predictions. I try really hard. Let's just say that. I never say never, right? But I try not to make predictions. I'm not saying that anybody's going to die related to the Bee Gees. But what I am saying is it feels like there's a transition. If there wasn't one recently, it feels like there's they're preparing for one. It could be anybody, you guys, in their family. It could be a grandpa, it could be a grandma, it could be mom, whatever. Although I don't think, I think mom is actually on the other side. So that's what I know. And that's how it starts, you guys. So again, I had no... And, and today, I don't know if the date might be significant, it's March 12th, 2019, March 12th. So that might be significant, I'm not sure. But so I'm gonna, I think I'm going to channel them. I'm not sure who to channel or how to dig in. Maybe I'll start with Andy because his energy is the easiest to connect with. And when I say easiest, you guys, what I'm saying is it's, it's big enough where there's enough people that are tapped into that energy, like fan-wise, that it raises it to a level where I can easily connect. So if there has to be some kind of a magnetism for me or some kind of a way, like a plug-in that I can plug into and get information from in order to want to be inspired to and motivated to do a channeling. And so even though you guys like request channels of different people, that's great too, by the way, you guys. I'm totally cool with that. You could totally ask for me to channel other people and such. But just know that I have a huge list and I channel them when it feels right for me, when I'm in alignment. So when my energy is the best match to be able to plug in to that source of energy that then I can generate the best, um, the best uh, experience and, and be as clear as possible, which we all know, like the detail thing is really tough for me because I'm focused so much on the energy and the exchange of the energy and bringing forward the essence of the message that they want to convey, which is different. It's totally, I get that my approach as a medium and as a psychic here at Above Life Channel is totally different than other psychics and mediums, but that's because I'm Bridget <laughs> and I really show up the way I'm made and it's gonna be different because just because there's people that do the same kind of thing doesn't mean you do it the same way. That's why you have different hairstylists. That's why you have different doctors. That's why you have different massage therapists. That's why you have different types of schools and colleges and different books you can read and different authors, different genres, different musicians, different movies, all that, right? Everything is different. There's diversity in the world and isn't that beautiful? And so at Above Life Channel, the way I share my information with you and super transparent, I want you to understand that I am not always right. I'm not even going to strive for perfection because that is a false falsehood. It's not even true or attainable. That's an ego-minded thing. So I'm going to be I'm going to be really upfront with you and share with you the details as I am perceiving them and receiving them. And I'll do the best I can obviously to provide quality and accuracy. It does matter to me. I have a lot of integrity. It does matter to me, but I'm going to be wrong. And I'm okay with that. I am okay with being wrong because many of you who are fans you can fill in the blanks and you can correct me and you can connect with other fans on that video and talk about the information and add enhanced value added energy to this conversation this connection which makes it so much more beautiful and so much more abundant and so much more helpful and hopeful for those who are watching and having the experience so we're all in this together and I think I'm going to go listen to some more Bee Gees because I'm making a salad and that sounds like some good lunch music. And I have a session this afternoon, so i got to get ready for that too. So this is Bridget at Above Life Channel. Thank you much, so much for watching. This is kind of a, uh, a previewing of how I'm getting information live as it's actually occurring before I actually sit down or schedule time to channel and how I get the inspiration 
to channel because I gotta be inspired, you guys. Otherwise, it'd be so boring for you to watch. You'd be like, oh, Bridget's doing what she thinks she has to do or she's doing what she thinks is most popular or she's doing what people keep demanding or what. No, it's got. I gotta be in alignment. That's what authentic, you guys. I would hope that you would um, uh, expect that here at Above Life Channel. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And hopefully I'll channel one or all of these guys soon. Thanks so much for watching.